Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain an example on half range sine series of the given function. See the statement of the problem. Find the half range Fourier sine series of the function x into cos x. Here given function is x into cos x defined on open interval 0 comma pi. Already you know that in the concept of half range sine series otherwise cosine series the interval should be in the form of the interval should be in the form of 0 comma pi otherwise 0 comma c. Interval length should be in the form of c only. Okay. First of all please write the given function given that f of x is equal to x into cos x on open interval 0 comma pi. So write the formula for half range sine series. The required half range sine series is f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n into sin n x. Take it equation number 1. So, it is enough to find out the value of b n only. Okay. What is the formula for b n here? Here b n is equal to 2 by pi. In the concept of half range, b n value is 2 by pi. Integral 0 to pi, which are the limits of endpoints of the given interval 0 to pi f of x into sin nx into dx. Okay, so what is the value of f of x now? Replace the f of x from the given function integral 0 to pi f of x is nothing but x into cos x x into cos x into sin nx dx ok so here we have here cos x into sin nx in the product so first i will take this 2 to inside 1 by pi into integral 0 to pi x into 2 into here i will write first sin nx down into cos x dx to get the formula of trigonometry. Clearly we are observing that this is in the form of 2 sin a cos b. So a value is nothing but nx, angle b is nothing but angle x. Okay, what is the formula for 2 sin a cos b? Sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. According to this formula, we can change this trigonometric term. So, you will get 1 by pi into integral 0 to pi, 1 by pi into integral 0 to pi, x is the similar term, sin of a plus b. So, you will get sin of nx plus x, nx plus x can be written as n plus 1 into x ok so bracket open sin of nx plus x if you take x as a common term you will get n plus 1 into x plus this time you have to subtract the angles sin of nx minus x if you take x as common term you will get n minus 1 into x whole into dx ok so now how can we find out the integrate uh, integration of this type of terms two terms are product so we can use the integral by parts formula extension by parts bar formula already we discussed about integral uv rule in earlier videos once again i will repeat this integral uv is nothing but u into v1 u into v1 v1 is nothing but integration of v okay you should write the brackets for v1 part minus alternately you will get positive and negative sign don't forget it u dash 
v2 u dash v2 okay next u double dash v3 here v2 is nothing but integration of v1 v3 is nothing but integration of v2 and u dash is nothing but derivative of the first term u double dash is nothing but second derivative of u otherwise derivative of the previous term and so on we can continue this process until to get the derivative of the first term is zero okay don't forget this uv rule okay in the concept of fourier series in the solving the problems in fourier series uv rule is very very important so one by pi into bracket open i am writing the integration u is the similar term integration of second term so integration of sin is minus cos minus cos of n plus 1 into x whole by x coefficient what is x coefficient n plus 1 already you know that integral sin is minus cos okay also here also we have sin integral sin is minus cos plus into minus becomes minus n minus 1 into x by what is the x coefficient it would be n minus 1 minus u dash what is the derivative of x derivative of x is 1 already know it this is v1 so we have to take integration of this entire bracket term minus integration of cos is sine so you will get sine of n plus 1 x by n plus 1 but already 1 n plus 1 is there so you will get n plus 1 whole square minus integration of cos is again sine angle is different here angle is n minus 1 into x whole by n minus 1 but already 1 n minus 1 is there so you will get n minus 1 whole square next derivative of 1 is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 that's why integration formula is completed after completion of the integration we have to apply the limits which is 0 to pi don't forget it 1 by pi into now whenever we have x apply the upper limit pi so here we have pi into minus cos of n plus 1 into pi i will write here what is cos of n plus 1 pi minus minus 1 whole power n don't forget this formula okay cos of n plus 1 into pi is equal to minus minus 1 whole power n since already here we have minus it becomes positive so minus 1 whole power n by n plus 1 here another one is cos of n minus 1 pi if we apply upper limit you will get cos of n minus pi so cos of n minus pi is also similar value minus minus 1 whole power n according to this minus minus gets positive so minus 1 whole power n by n minus 1 minus since here we have sine terms sine of n plus 1 pi what is sine of n plus 1 pi sine of any pi is 0 sine of n plus 1 into pi sine of n minus 1 into pi otherwise simply sine n pi sine to n pi all are becomes zeros okay so that's why this term becomes 0 by applying lower limit you will get here we have x if you replace x is equal to 0 which is lower limit 0 and anything 0 sine zeros are zeros so by applying lower limit you will get all terms are zeros so here this pi and this pi gets cancelled so minus 1 whole power n is a common term 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by n minus 1 so take the lcm minus 1 whole power n minus 1 whole power n what is the lcm n plus 1 into n minus 1 which is in the form of a plus b into a minus b so you will get n square minus 1 okay so 1 into n minus 1 1 into n plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled n plus n is 2n so the value of bn is 2n by n square minus 1 
so i will write the continuation here c so here we got bn is equal to 2n by n square minus 1 once again i will write here bn is equal to 2n by n square minus 1 we are observing that this value is finite only when n is not equal to 1 n is not equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 then what happened if you replace n is equal to 1 you will get denominator is 0 1 square minus 1 something by 2 by 0 becomes infinity that's why we can't take this value when n is equal to 1 here in the formula of sign range uh, uh, of range sign series series starts from n is equal to 1 to infinity so first term is n is equal to 1 in that series that's why we can't take this value when n is equal to 1 so we have to find out the value of bn again for, for n is equal to 1 so if n is equal to 1 then what is bn formula 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into sin nx already know it into dx so if n is equal to 1 this formula becomes b1 2 by pi integral 0 to pi what is f of x given problem x into cos x here n is equal to 1 so sin nx becomes sin x only into dx so we have to find this value again so b1 is equal to 2 i will take this 2 to inside just right outside in only 1 by pi integral 0 to pi x into take this 2 to here and write in the product of sin and cos terms because we have a trigonometric formula what is 2 sin x into cos x you know it it is as sin 2x into dx so again here we have to apply uv rule so 1 by pi into bracket open first write u term which is x as usually integral sin 2x is minus cos 2x by 2 minus derivative of x is 1 and uh, integration of cos is sin minus sin is there don't forget that negative sign sin 2x by 2 already 2 is there so you will get 2 square it is nothing but 4 integration is completed because the next term is 0 if you want to write next term derivative of 1 is 0 0 into anything is 0 whenever you are getting derivative of the first term is 0 formula of uv is completed we have to apply limits now see 1 by pi into by applying upper limit you should here apply x is equal to pi so pi into you will get cos 2 pi what is cos 2 pi x is equal to pi so you will get cos 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 cos even pi is 1 so you will get minus 1 by 2 here and uh, here we have sin sin 2 pi is 0 sin any pi is 0 that's why it is 0 minus of minus plus 0 is 0 by anything is 0 by applying lower limit here we have x 0 into cos 0 it would be 0 again sin 0 is 0 so pi pi gets cancelled so we are observing that b1 value is what is b1 value when n is equal to 1 we are getting b1 as minus 1 by 2 b1 as minus 1 by 2 now see what is the off range sign series x into cos x x into cos x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity bn into sin nx this is the formula for half range sine series replace n is equal to 1 first you will get the first term b1 into sin x plus for the remaining terms you can start the series with 2 to infinity in this way we can separate the half range sine series formula because when n is equal to 1 bn becomes 0 sorry bn becomes infinity that's why I am finding the B1 value again. We have to find out B1 value separately. Now what is B1 here? Just we got B1 as minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2 sin x. 
plus summation n is equal to 2 to infinity. What is bn value? This one. Okay. This value is finite when n is greater than or equal to 2. So, we can use this one. 2n by n square minus 1. And sorry, here we have minus 1 whole power n also in the product. Don't forget it. I forget to write minus 1 whole power n here. Don't forget it in our examinations into sin nx. This is the required half range cosine series of the given function. Okay. In the next video, I will give some more problems on half range sine series. Thank you very much.